a bookcase with accessible devices, a large display talking calculator, accessible science lab tools, talking reading pen, talking tape measure, braille geometric set, access labeling tools, a braille embosser, words appear. The Access Technology Center at the University of Washington. Hi, I'm Dan Comden. I'm manager of the Access Technology Center. And in this space, in the basement of Mary Gates Hall, we provide consulting services for uh, accessible design of web pages and online applications. We also do uh, accommodations for students, faculty, and staff who have disabilities who need some help using computing technology. One of the biggest parts of our job right now is working with developers of web pages and online applications to make sure that those offerings are as accessible as possible. My name is Hadi Rangin, and I'm a member of IT accessibility team at the University of Washington. My primary responsibility is to work with on-campus developers as well as vendors, making sure that the products are more accessible and usable to everyone including those with disabilities. My name is Gaby DeYoung and I'm an IT accessibility specialist for um, ATC and my primary, uh, my primary um, responsibility is to ensure the accessibility of all electronic documents um, along the three campuses, so um, UW Seattle, UW Tacoma, and UW Bothell. My name is Doug Heyman. I work at the University of Washington in the Accessible Technology Services Group. And my function here at this group is working around captioning efforts, getting groups on campus to be um, thoughtful about that sort of access mode and how they can make their videos more accessible. Dan walks to the Access Technology Center Learning Lab. So here in the Access Technology Center, we've got a wide array of alternate keyboards and mice. Uh, we have accessible furniture so that faculty and staff who want to try different seating arrangements can test drive chairs. Um, for folks who have repetitive stress issues, we have a wide variety of different uh, mouse alternates and keyboard alternates. Uh, here we've got a trackball, here we've got something called a roller mouse. This is a mouse alternate attached to this Mac right here. Uh, we've got adjustable height tables. So speech input is really useful for people who have a difficult time using their hands, either due to a spinal cord injury, um, maybe due to uh, a temporary disability like a broken hand or broken arm. Um, it can really make a difference in being able to stay productive uh, and, and create text and documents. This is a demonstration of speech input, period. As you can see, comma, I must speak all punctuation, dash, it takes a little getting used to, period. Any questions? Question mark. Select all. Read that. This is a demonstration of speech input. As you can see, I must speak all punctuation. It takes a little getting used to. Any questions? Dan lays a page of a paperback book in a scanner. Uh, we have a flatbed scanner that has a nice high edge that lets you scan bound material and then convert it into the electronic format of their choice. So we can make accessible Word files or accessible PDF files, whatever the student prefers. They can then take that file, put it on a thumb drive, or save it to the cloud and have access to it wherever they need it. And in our center here, we provide all the Braille services for campus. That includes uh, academic materials for students, as well as any other requested materials for the public that are vi visiting for events uh, or faculty or staff. The process is relatively simple. We start with an accessible Microsoft Word file. Now, this Word file may have been created through our scanning process, or it may be content that was developed by faculty. So we start with this file, and this is what it looks like in Microsoft Word, and we open it in our Braille translation software. So it looks like standard text. The software will convert to Braille format with 
just one keystroke. So we see the simulated Braille on the screen that we can then send to our embosser over here in the corner. Next time you're in Mary Gates Hall, we would love it if you would come visit us at the Access Technology Center. Words appear. For more information about the Access Technology Center, visit itconnect.uw.edu slash learn slash accessible slash ATC. This video is funded by Accessible Technology Services of UWIT, copyright 2017, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged. Described by AudioWise.